And today we're going to unbox the Halval Hyper SS 1/8 scale buggy. Um, I bought this one second hand, and this is going to be the sort of first time I've really looked in there and used it and checked out what you get in the box. I went to pick this up from Burton on Trent, so only an hour drive from here, but uh, got it for a decent price and let's get cracking. So uh, it comes with pretty much everything in the box ready to run. Uh, like I said, it's a 1 8 scale buggy, and this is the Maxstar 0.28 engine edition. So, six port, it's like the, the, the D's B's of the Hyper SS world. Comes with a 2.4 gigahertz radio system, obviously, as you can see there. Um, Pretty large shocks, you know, it's all pretty nicely built. So let's have a look and see what we get. What else on the box? Oh, look at this. Loads of little bits of information on here. 150cc fuel tank, mud deflectors, fuel bottle included. You must be 14 to use this truck. Well, what's he giving you then? Okay, so you get your wall charger for your uh, glow start, your glow starter plug thing, get a wall charger for that, that's cool, we'll leave that there, uh, fuel bottle so you can fill the old tank up, get it running, uh, he's giving me a glow starter and then the nuts for the wheels I assume and then an allen key and some other bits to sort of tighten the screws and that, um, socket wrench thing for the wheels and very to the bit. Oh, the spoiler. There's the rear wing, the Hyper SS wing. It's quite actually really well made. It's pretty good, strong. Ah, controller. This is the standard three channel 2.4 gigahertz uh, controller system. Three channel takes unfortunately eight AA batteries. Sucks. It's pretty nice though, it's not bad. It's heavy. A bit, bit too heavy really for what it is. Right, we've got well they, well these are well built. Four rather large wheels. There you go. Quite a lot of tread on those. So quite impressive. Not bad. And the truck. Yeah, God, it's heavy. Crikey. So this is the, the 1.8 scale truck. Crikey, those shocks are solid. I'm going to break in a hurry. So there's the mud deflectors here. We've even got aluminium hooks and uh, shafts on this for those things. Huge heatsink cooler on the top here. It's a full start engine, so let's see what damage he's got. Only a few minor scratches on the back, so that's not too bad. Oh, crikey, right. What else have we got? Nice. So he's given me the manual for it as well, which is nice. High process manual and the tuning guide so you can reset the, 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 the uh, needles on the engine. So let's have a look at the. There's always that there we are. Look at that. Some parts there, aren't there? Wow, impressive stuff. Okay, we'll get the wheels on now and uh, let's get cracking. Let's see what it looks like. Nip that up tight. Two down, two to go. And there's the then there's the wing to put on there. Last wheel. Looks cracking already. Brilliant. Why is it a ton? 
check that out. Brilliant. Shocks work. <laughs> Put the wing on. Okay, there we go. What do you think? Let's tie up a bit more. A bit loose. Impressive stuff, huh? So let's get a inside view. Nice shell, quite well made actually, it's quite strong. So that is the inside of the of the buggy. Try and put it a little bit lower down, there we go. That way. This is the inside of the buggy. And you've got the uh, twin foam air filter here. So it has uh, two inserts, one on the outside, one on the in. Uh, you have metal gear servos, for one, one of them is for steering. So if I uh, pull this out, you'll see it turns with that. Cool, then you have a servo here, and the metal gear one for the throttle, so... There you go. And the 150cc fuel tank here. So you Pipe your fuel into there, pop it, there you go, done. Got a nice tuned pipe on the side here, Hyper SS tuned pipe, and I think this is pretty standard with all the Hyper range, the 7, 7.5, 8, 9, uh, the SS, the Monster Truck SS, whatever. It's the 28, 28 cubic inch engine, cubic inch. Uh, we'll start with six ports, so it's pretty nice, pretty cool. And we'll give this a run in a little while, well, tomorrow actually, it's a bit dark now. And uh, let's have a look at the... Ah, yes, so... He's left us some batteries in, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, 2.4 gigahertz radio system in there. So I'll screw that down in a little while. Let's see if it got any battery in it. So the servos will work. Oh, need to change the batteries in that then. Oh, yep, yeah, sprung to life. Got green light inside, you might not be able to see it. A little, about there, a little green light means it's communicating with the receiver and controller. So it's um, oh, it's pretty good, pretty good indeed. Oh, strong servo as well. Whoa, nice. Then we should have a throttle. Brilliant. And there we have it guys, so that's the end of the unboxing video. Turn this around a few times. Get a good view. I can't believe the size of these shock towers, they're absolutely sobbed on this thing. And the plastic quality is not like you'd expect either. It's much stronger. It's really thick and chunky. It doesn't look like it's going to break very easily. <laughs> Which is a good thing I suppose. Let's see how the pull start is. See how it, what the compression's like. Not bad. Compression's alright. Good, yeah, nice. Let's see if we can get it to blip. Nah, there's no fuel left in that. Sometimes you can get it to sort of pop a few times. Nice. Four wheel drive, four wheel differential. So if I hold this, you don't want to rotate the opposite way. You can see. There we go. So these two can independently turn, and as can the rear. Right there. Pretty cool. There's a differential gearbox in the centre here, and that can control all four wheels. It's all all, all wheel drive, all wheel drive effectively. But yeah, first impressions. 
impressive. It's a big truck. It's heavy. It looks like it's built ever so well. Um, I'll have to give it a few bashes outside. I'll take it to the park and annoy a few people. Kill a few dogs. Let's go. Steel spur gear, nice and strong. Access for a starter box on the flywheel there. The motor actually sits on two mounts. You have a mount that attaches it to the chassis. One, two, three, four. And then the mounts that hold the chassis plate to the chassis, uh, to the engine. And you can adjust the sort of distance from the spur gear here. Running on, for the meantime, 20% OptiFuel here, developed by HPI. Um, I find that this is a, a rather decent fuel. It's not as good as uh, sort of buyer on fuels, but uh, for now, it's uh, good enough for me. So, yeah. 